Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I've gotten a few requests to show how to make seamless patterns. In this tutorial, I'll show you a method that's easy and effective. Create a new document that's square. This image will be 1000 by 1000 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Go to Window and Swatches. There's a great tool to use for color combinations, especially for patterns. It's a website named ColorSchemeDesigner.com. By clicking on various types of color schemes, utilizing the color wheel and other features on the site, you'll be able to choose combinations that you can see immediately. Once you're happy with it, click Export and ACO Photoshop Palette. This will download those swatches into your computer. Click on the file and choose Open When Done. This automatically places in your swatch panel those specific colors. Call up your pencil tool and press F5 to call up your brush presets. In the brush tip shape panel, make sure no boxes are checked on the left, but smoothing is okay. Also, the hardness should be 100%. For this box, I'll be randomly creating layers of shapes and lines, but feel free to create your own for your pattern. I'll start by calling up my pencil tool. I'll choose 9 for the brush size, the blend mode is normal, and the opacity 100%. I'll go to the top and draw a black line to the left, and call up my bucket tool, and click on the white area to fill it. Now I'll assign a color to it. Click on the adjustment layer icon, and choose solid color. I'll click on one of the color swatches, and click OK. To make the adjustment layer affect only the one layer beneath it, hover your cursor between the two layers, press Alt or Option, and when you see a clipping mask symbol appear, click down. This makes the adjustment layer affect only the one layer beneath it. So in other words, the color swatch you choose becomes the color of your adjustment layer, which in turn becomes the color of the shape that's directly under the adjustment layer. Continue adding shapes and lines and using your solid color adjustment layers to give them colors. Once you're happy with your design, you're ready to make it into a pattern that you'll ultimately make seamless. Go to Image and Canvas Size. Click on the top left arrow and we'll change the inches to percent. Change the width and the height to 200 and click OK. Press Ctrl or Command plus zero to see the entire image in your screen. Click on the icon in the upper right of the Layers panel and choose Flatten Image. Call up your Magic Wand tool and click on the white area. This creates a selection of the box. We need to invert the selection, so press Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Click on the background to make it active. We'll fill it with white, and since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Make Layer 1 active and copy it. Go to View and make sure Snap is checked. Go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Click on the copy and drag it across until it snaps in place. We'll merge these two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command plus E, then make a copy of it. Go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. Click on it and drag it down till it snaps in place. Let's merge all the layers together. Click on the icon in the upper right and choose Flatten Image. If you have faint, light, horizontal, and vertical lines in the center that you don't want in your pattern, we can fix this easily. Press Z to call up your Zoom tool and zoom into the center. Call up your Single Column Marquee tool and click on the vertical line. Then call up your Single Row Marquee tool and go to the horizontal line. Press Shift and click on it. Go to Select Modify and Expand. We'll expand it by 2 pixels. Next, go to Edit and Fill. We'll fill it with Content Aware. It takes a second or two for Photoshop to calculate it. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command plus D. 
Fit the entire image in your screen. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. I'll name it Blue Shapes. Open up a new file. You can make it any size. I'm choosing 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Click on your adjustment layer icon and choose Pattern. If your new pattern isn't showing in the thumbnail, click on the arrow next to it and choose it. You can scale the pattern to any size. Because it's seamless, no matter what size you choose, you'll never see a break or a seam. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.